Most of us have heard that cancer can run in the family. Familial clustering of a variety of cancers is a common occurrence. Nevertheless, it is misleading to think of cancer as a group of genetic diseases. Three quarters of all the cancers that occur in the United States result from non-genetic factors, such as inactivity, infectious diseases, poor diet, tobacco use, and exposure to chemicals and radiation. It is more accurate to think of genes as a non-modifiable risk factor for cancer. In the case of breast cancer, having one first-degree female relative with the disease doubles a woman's risk for this malignancy. And having two afflicted first-degree relatives translates into a five-fold increased risk. Still, only around a quarter of breast cancer patients have a family member with the disease, meaning that around three quarters of the women who develop breast cancer have no family history of it. All told, only five to 10% of the cases of breast cancer are considered hereditary. For more information about kidney cancer, visit yourcancertoday.com. Click on kidney and you'll get a comprehensive discussion of kidney cancer, which is also known as renal cell cancer, its symptoms and treatment options. You can also access a segment from a previous edition of Your Cancer Today and visit with a kidney cancer conqueror and his doctor.